With Hurricane Lee ripping northward, bringing dangerous winds and crashing surf along the East Coast and hurricane and tropical storm watches for coastal New England. ABC's chief meteorologist Ginger Z gets a new vantage point on this lingering storm. She's joining the hurricane hunters known for flying right into the eye of the storm mm. of the moment in search of key data. All right, we took off. Let's go see Lee. We just flew into Hurricane Lee. Witnessing something few people will ever see. Then we plow through Lee's wide swath of 115 mile per hour winds. There's a hurricane. Yeah, there it is. It's bumpy, nausea inducing, and this is where we spend the next three hours. From Lakeland, Florida, we flew east southeast for two hours. All right, now let's bring it back to the right. Hey. Well, that's good. That's, that's good. good right. I even got a chance to fly the plane. We watch as the experts gather critical data from inside the hurricane. This instrument is called a drop sign. It is going to go right here. Leanne's going to drop a bunch of them into this tube, out the airplane, into the eye wall of the storm. It is going to get data like temperature, pressure, wind speed, and all that goes into tonight's computer models. One release midpoint. That instrument falls through the storm. And in real time, it radios back data. We made several passes through the eye walls in what they call a butterfly pattern, measuring several parts of Lee. This plane is stacked with high-tech gadgets and scientists, all getting essentially a CAT scan of the hurricane. So as the climate warms, though, we do anticipate seeing more rapid intensification. You all will be able to capture that. We'll be able to capture it as it comes on. You know, a lot of things feed into rapid intensification, surface, sea surface temperatures, shear, all of those things. And that data has been invaluable, especially over the past decade. We've seen more than two dozen storms rapidly intensify in the Atlantic Basin, often right before hitting land. What would a hurricane forecast be without the instrumentation and the data we're about to collect? You have to initialize a forecast model with really good data. And lacking the data in the core of the hurricane, we'd still be back there at that four-day, maybe five-day forecast period. So we just got off hours ago from Kermit. The other one's called Miss Piggy that they use regularly. And what an experience. I have to say, they told me that this was a pretty smooth flight. Uh, my stomach would not say the same, uh, but it was really amazing the entire time watching the physicality of how they fly these planes even they call it a crab into it where they have to kind of go sideways to go straight i do want to say that noah is stepping it up they're doing you know more than a dozen instruments on this plane already they are now using sail drones which you can see in the video there that sail drone that goes on the water to kind of make that complex 3d look they're now testing drone drones that they'll be dropping out of the airplanes and then flying around to give us even more data it's outstanding y'all Incredible. Mm -hmm. And Ginger, I have to ask, I was watching your piece. There were a lot of people on that plane. <laughs> what are all of those people doing? <laughs> so aside from Todd, my photographer, and myself, there were 17 scientists and Air Force commanders, like people who do this all the time. It's wild to be able to see what they're capturing. So one of the teams was looking at surface winds and waves, but from the plane. They had several instruments running, including two radars. They clocked one of the waves at 28 feet. So that's where we get that really critical information when it's going to impact Nova Scotia or Maine this weekend. And Ginger, I hear you quickly learned that flying is not easy. <laughs> no, I don't. They asked, do we have any um, air hours like behind the yoke? And I was like, no, I, I didn't even know that word until right now. <laughs> I know a lot about meteorology, but I learned very quickly that that physicality was so amazing to think because they have to fight the winds. Also, there are three people manning it and they have to take kind of a circuit because it's so demanding on your mind and on your body, watching them with all of the controls and how they come out, not just getting perfect science, but also alive <laughs> it, was, it was pretty surreal but cool at the same time yeah, yeah. such an yeah. incredible story ginger mm -hmm. z for us there thank you so thank much thank you ginger thank you well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from gma every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.